Hi, I'm Ann Blosser, and I grew up at Fredericksburg United Methodist Church. I've always been so amazed at how much love and support have been shown by the church to my family and me. I know that over the last year we have not been able to be in person physically, but I've also been so amazed at how many different ways the church has been able to show up for their members and the community. 391 days. It has been 391 days since the governor declared a state of emergency due to COVID-19. 391 days since our somewhat ordinary lives were changed forever on March 12, 2020. I know we haven't had the same experiences, but I'm sure some of us have shared the same emotions. Loneliness, grief, stress, anxiety, boredom, loss, it could have been loss of a friend or family member, loss of a job, or maybe just loss of being able to have the freedom to go about our daily activities. Of course, I know that you've tried to battle these emotions, some maybe not as healthy or as satisfying as others. Have you tried to binge watch something on Netflix, started a new hobby, or maybe you just had too much to eat or slept way too much? These choices may have helped to distract the emotion, but did they truly make the emotion go away? One thing I started last June was journaling. Each night I write five things from the day that are joyful and five prayer requests. The joyful things could be something significant, but it could also be something small, like yes, they finally had my baked Cheetos on the grocery list. One thing that I find really rewarding in this thing is that when I can change something from my prayer request to make it on my gratitudes list. This was a small reminder each day that only God, only God can bring that pure joy that hours of TV, comfort food, or lots of sleep could never bring you. We all need to be amazed and in awe of what God continues to do for us. We are called to share God's love with others. I know COVID-19 has challenged, if not broken, many connections with others. But still, we must share God's joyful love in whatever ways we can. Although I have tried to avoid in-person doctor's appointments, on Ash Wednesday, I decided I needed to go to the ED. While waiting to be seen, I was blessed to witness acts of love between strangers despite COVID. An agitated young man came in with police, who stayed until he was registered. He was complaining about being thirsty and appeared not to have any money for the vending machine. I witnessed a man offer to buy him a drink. After he drank his Powerade, he also stated that he didn't have his phone to be able to call his dad. The very same man dialed his phone and gave it to the young man so he could call his father. These two simple acts didn't take much time or much money, but they demonstrated compassionate love. I was reminded that in spite of our anxieties over COVID-19 or maybe agitated strangers, we all need to share God's love with our neighbors. Psalm 35 tells us that we may cry in the night, but in the morning we will celebrate. Morning will always come with God. It came the morning that stone was rolled away and the tomb was empty. We need to rejoice always because God's love for us never changes. We can't do anything to earn his love, nor can we do anything to make him love us any less. With God's joyous love in our hearts, we will joyfully love our neighbors. Will you pray with me? Holy Father, please help us to always be in all surprised of what you have done for us. Help us to remember that no matter how dark our night is, morning will always come with you. Help us to always share this joyful love with you and also our neighbors. Amen.